This is not the first flying machine. Humans have been strapping wings to their arms and jumping off cliffs and towers for centuries, and hot air balloons flew almost two centuries before the Wright Flyer. However, what the Wright brothers invented was controlled, powered flight. This plane can move in three different axes. You can roll, you can yaw, and you can change the pitch. By contrast, a hot air balloon can only go up or down, and all you can do is try to find wind blowing the right direction. Otherwise, you're just stuck in your basket. Earlier heavier-than-air flying machines steered only by the pilot shifting their weight, a technique which is finicky at best. Imagine the pilot of a modern airliner coming over the intercom. We're now approaching Charlotte Douglas International Airport. Please make sure your tray table is stowed and then lean to the right to line us up with the runway. Thank you. To steer the right flyer to the right, Orville shifts his body in that wooden cradle, pulling wires connected to the wingtips, changing the shape of the wing and rolling the plane to the right. Those wires also connect to this rudder, which rotates to steer the plane through the turn. To change altitude, the pilot moves this handle, which angles the elevators to send the plane up or down. The Wright brothers designed their own engine, off-center and balanced by the pilot's weight, and pioneered the use of propellers on aircraft. Getting up in the air is one thing, but staying aloft with an engine and propellers, and then being able to steer and fly where you want, is why we remember the Wright brothers as the inventors of powered flight.